Hey guys, what's up? I'm doing a video for Check My Inventory. It's going to be more thorough just because I didn't explain a lot of the most important features. So we're going to start off with just doing slash CMI, uh, silent chest, you know, that, that's quite simple. I mean, it's not much. I think I have it enabled actually. No, oh uh, yeah, see, and then it just, you know, just opens it silently so no one else knows. Um, the ender, you know, just Checking people's ender chest, cubal mines, ender chest has nothing in it. Um, and then uh, the inventory for cubal nine, that's his armor. You can take his armor off wherever he is. I could show you. And then let's take his chest plate off. And there it is. It is off. And he just put it back on. See? There you go. That's just inventory. It's pretty cool. Um, it's better than just seeing a person's inventory because, oh, what's cool is some people like to hide their stuff and like put, put your shovel or something in your crafting slot. Yeah, see, look, and then you can take that too. So yeah, that's cool. Um, the CMI TP, you know, that's just TPing to a player. Uh, log off cue ball. We're gonna set his TP. He logged off right in front of me, and now I'm gonna stand right here, and he'll log off right in front of me, but the other direction. Now, yep, right there. So you can set his teleport for offline and hold some stake or something, you know. Item name cue ball nine. And then we'll name it uh, and for and else steak. Now let's look. Yep, and now uh, that was me enchanting. I accidentally enchanted it, so we can. Uh, oops. Oh, I have I forgot the line number. My bad. Um, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now his lore has changed to steak. So, uh, that's the I already did the set TP and then max HP for Q ball nine. Let's uh. Oh, wait, wait, set cubal nine for one. How many hearts you got, cubal? <laughs> one, okay. Um, now he's got max health. Uh, and then we've got the repair. We can repair cubal nine, a uh, hand or his armor or all. We're going to do all. Uh, he only need one repairing. The sign edit and the, the copy isn't currently working. But uh, the CMI fly, that's just, you know, setting it true or false for me. And then uh, T fly, that's a cool one. Um, all right, go ahead and fly, cue ball, and then log back on. Now log, now log off and log back on. Uh, now he shouldn't be able to fly. Try and fly, cue ball. Yep, all right. Now we're going to do the compass, and I'm going to grab a compass. And we're gonna, it's going to only point to cue ball, so let's do slash CMI. Compass, Hagenite, and then Cubal 9. Now, as you can see, if I go this way, we got to turn around, and Cubal 9 is right there, and the compass goes straight to him. So it only points to him, which is pretty awesome, and yeah. We're going to do the hunger, which is, uh, for Cubal 9, he should have zero hunger. Now let's see if it starts. he starts taking damage from it. Yep, there he goes. Now we're going to give him max hunger so he doesn't die, and yeah, that sets your hunger. The saturation here is just so that way he doesn't go hungry. That's kind of like an effect which is coming up to uh, the air. We're going to skip that because that's for cer certain servers that have, if they have that plugin with the, you know, you need air and you need water and stuff. Uh, a spawner, so I, I think it's 52. That's the, yeah, okay. Uh, see my spawner and then let's change it to a skeleton. There you go. And there goes a skeleton or a zombie. Or, I don't know, can you do a giant? Yeah, you did it. Yeah, there you go. There's a giant. You can change a certain um, spawner, which is really awesome. We have the effect. So, effect, Hagenite, uh, I don't know, regeneration for like 10 seconds. And we'll give it two. Yep, eight, regeneration two for 10 seconds. There you go. And then we've got, you know, just slash uh, CMI heal. Just heals you or anyone else. And uh, notice how it says online. All right, Cubal9, log off for a second. All right, now we're going to Envy. We're going to take his chest plate off. Go ahead and log back on, Cubal. And once he logs back on, he ha doesn't have a chest plate. So that's pretty cool. You can take it whether or not they're on or offline. I, I have, on my old uh, server, Vigorous, it actually, a lot of players would... Be like, no, I don't want you to take my armor, and they'd put it on themselves. And I'm like, oh, now I have to kill you to get your armor. So I'd have to kill them. Or, before I even killed them, they'd log off. And I'd be like, 
oh, crap. Now I can't do anything, and they have the armor, and if I have to go, then, you know, they can't do that. But now with this plugin, you doesn't matter. If they put it on themselves, you can take it straight off. If they log off, you can take it off again. It's pretty cool. You can... So we're going to go ahead and give me an ender chest, which is the ID is 130 and just one. That's, you know, that's just giving an item. The give all, it's a console command, but you just give all and then like 130 and then one and then offline. And it just gives it to everybody. Um, and you can just do that. But for when you're on the console, remember, don't use a slash because it already has that slash there for you. In case you don't want all that, you can just throw it on the ground and you can also do ground clean, not clear. Boom! Items removed, 59, completely gone. Just like clear lag, but, you know, it's not clear lag. So, back to, uh, work, you know, workbench, it's just workbench. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Ready? Now he should have a workbench open for him. And, uh, we can probably do that with me too, you know? Whether or not they're offline or online. So that's awesome. Okay, so basically what clear is, as you can see up here, is that it basically clears everything. So let's grab some armor as well. Put that on my clear Hagenite. Boom. Inventory completely gone. Fly speed. So I can also change my fly speed for Hagenite to like 10 or something. And like, oh my gosh, that was fast. That's pretty much the fly speed, you know, and walk speed the same thing. You can go quickly and then the GM is the game mode and well, we're gonna start We're gonna go with the save and then the save all which uh, will save Cubal's inventory or save my inventory real quick and It saves my inventory and you can like for instance you could cl most of them are empty. Yeah, looks like I looks over this one. I had diamonds and then you can click them just to see them um, and you can save all, and then days range, you could, I think you can, yeah. Skipped 78, okay, skipped zero. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to clear cue balls inventory completely. Yeah, 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 don't get mad at me yet. Now, we're going to load it with a source name and the target name. So, for instance, the source name would be Cubal 9, that's his inventory. So let's say I want I want his inventory. So the source name, he's the source. And then the target name is me. You can load it with someone else. Or we could give it back to him so he doesn't keep staring at me. Here you go. <laughs> and it gives him his XP too. Exact XP and everything. It pre pre pretty much makes a backup on a player, which is pretty boss. You can check an ID. So, you know, check Cubal 9. I think that his... ID was 15. Yeah, so that's his inventory. Can't really edit it because you're just checking, like, you know, here's the date up here in green. Uh, you can also check the Opolis. I think it's just me. Make sure anyone else isn't. Yep, just me. And then uh, TP all, you know, that, that's the essential command as well. Here we go. Favorite. Okay, search. Now you can search and scan and all kinds of stuff. So you can do search and, I don't know, let's uh, look for stone. I think uh, Cable has some stone. Or, or maybe some cobblestone. What's the ID for cobblestone? Let's check. Item ID. Info. Oh, it's four. Okay. Is it now? Search ID uh, four. Oh, yeah. There you go. Inventory. Click to open. And you can search. Um, this is the search command, not the scan. I, I did the scan in my last video, but um, this is the search. So, this pretty much shows everybody who has stone. <laughs> In their inventory, which I'm pretty sure is a lot of uh, people. So we're not going to go through them all, but we're going to go back to the uh, search command. Oh, yeah, yeah, search. So you can preview the range or you can um, search for fly if they're flying or if they're in survival mode or if they have a custom name. So I gave Cubal9 a steak that was called steaks. It has to be the ID. My bad. I know. You're specific. That's okay. Um... Well, computers are always specific, am I right? Uh, 64 searching and Cubal 9, what'd I say? Boom, there's his stake. Fortune 3 and stake. And that's, I think, it's insane. Now, scanning is a little different. You can, I think you can scan for spawners. I'm not sure. ID 52. Um, and, yeah. Within, yeah, within 25 chunks, no. Maybe, like, range 100 chunks, maybe. That's a, yeah, 18 minutes left, scan, stop, let's, 
or you or I mean you can hit the continue or the info scan and info if I was still going that was that was if I was uh, still scanning but you can unload chunks or replace a block that's kind of like a world edit you know where you just replace the blocks near um and yeah that's that's the scan feature the search feature for any p person in their inventory what they have and that's pretty cool too so my next video is um, going to be about residence, which I will be doing soon, which is really fun. It's uh, pretty cool. This plugin is definitely meant for a survival server. I think it's complete, it, like it's, it, you need it. Now, Cubal9, he's never changed his name, so you never get to see this, but some players join, um, and I, I said this in my last video, but some players join and they've got a, like a huge list of also known as, and uh, you can see their previous names. Um, so yeah. The CMI purge is actually just clearing players' data, so I, I mean, I wouldn't do that. But if you really needed to and you're restarting your server, go for it. It's a good plugin. It's a great um, source of information, and, and it's really nice. So like and subscribe. I hope you like this tutorial, and definitely get this if you have a survival server. Thank you so much.